Wolf Parkinson White, WPW Syndrome, Introduction. In Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, a separate accessory pathway, known as the bundle of Kent, is present between the atria and ventricles, which allows aberrant conduction between the atria and ventricles to bypass the atrial ventricular AV node. The accessory bundle of Kent conducts atrial impulses to the level of the ventricles faster than the AV node, which naturally delays atrial impulses. WPW syndrome is the basis for atrial ventricular reentry or reciprocating tachycardia, AVRT, a type of supraventricular tachycardia, SVT. In orthodromic AVRT, the most common type of AVRT, the reentry circuit involves forward conduction of atrial impulses to the ventricles via the AV node with retrograde conduction from the ventricles back up to the atria via the accessory pathway. In antidromic AVRT, the less common type of AVRT, the reentry circuit involves forward conduction down the accessory pathway with retrograde conduction up the His Purkinje system through the AV node. The result of the different AV conduction velocities in patients with an accessory Kent bundle is ventricular pre-excitation, which is seen as a delta wave on electrocardiogram of a patient with an accessory Kent bundle in sinus rhythm. Clinical manifestations. Sudden onset tachycardia, sensation of heart racing, palpitations, dizziness, dyspnea, chest discomfort, pre-syncope, syncope. Orthodromic AVRT produces a regular, narrow complex tachycardia with a ventricular rate of 150 to 250 beats per minute, maybe greater, and inverted P waves on ECG. Sometimes there is a beat-to-beat -beat oscillation in the QRS amplitude, a finding known as electrical QRS alternins, which is more commonly associated with pericardial effusion. Antidromic AVRT produces a regular, wide complex tachycardia with a ventricular rate of 150 to 250 beats per minute with inverted P waves on ECG, which may be confused with ventricular tachycardia. Treatment Treatment protocols differ depending on if the patient is hemodynamically stable or hemodynamically unstable. In hemodynamically stable patients with symptomatic orthodromic AVRT, mainstay management is vagal maneuvers. If unsuccessful, then AV nodal blocking agents, preferably intravenous adenosine over intravenous verapamil, should be used. In hemodynamically stable patients with symptomatic antidromic AVRT, is with intravenous procainamide. For hemodynamically unstable patients, immediate direct current, DC, cardioversion is the preferred treatment. Definitive management of AVRT is radiocatheter ablation of the accessory bundle of Kent.